welcome again to class. Well, it's very nice to talk to you again. Last time, we talked about some theories on how the universe formed. Then we talked about how the solar system formed. But today, we are going to look at the components or things that are found in the solar system. Well, there are many things in the solar system. For example, we have a star, that is the sun. We have planets, moons, dwarf planets, comets, asteroids, gas, and dust. But how many planets are there in the solar system? Well, this question is a very hard one because some people will say that there are eight planets. Others will say there are 10 or more. But, uh, but for a very long time, people believe that there are nine planets, which are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. But then in 2005, a new thing was discovered, which looked like Pluto but is a little far from Pluto and is a little bit bigger than Pluto. It was discovered by a team of astronomers with their leader Mike Brown. Then they called it Ares. Well, this discovery forced the International Astronomical Union to call a meeting to discuss if Pluto should be a planet or not. And some astronomers said the number of planets should be increased from 9 up to 12. That means Pluto, okay, and the other planets, plus other three planets. By adding Charon, that is the moon of Pluto, being number 10, and asteroid Ceres, being number 11, and Eris, being number 12. But in the end, they concluded that they have to change the definition of a planet. So they say that a planet needs to have the following characteristics. Number one, it has to orbit the sun. Number two, it has to have gravity in order to pull itself into a sphere or to be like a ball. And number three, its surrounding has to be clean, so it has to pull almost everything around it. And this is where Pluto failed, because it has a lot of objects around it, so it does not have a strong gravity like other planets, because it is in the same place and it looks like the same with all the objects around it. Therefore, they concluded that Pluto has to be in a group of its own. They called the group dwarf planets. Whereas dwarfs are very short people, so Pluto is a very small planet. Hence, every new object that scientists find in the space in the solar system if it looks like a planet, then they look at its characteristics. And if it does not have all the three characteristics of a planet, then they put it in the group of dwarf planets. For example, Eris, which was found by Mike Brown, Helmer, Makimaki, Ceres, and Pluto itself are in the group of dwarf planets. But after you pass Pluto and Eris, and if you go very far away, you are going to meet with the Kuiper Belt, which is a region of asteroids, like the asteroids which are between Mars and Jupiter. And also, there are some comets here because it is too cold. Then, when you pass the Kuiper Belt and go very far away, you will meet with the Oats Cloud, which is a region that is believed to be around the solar system, like the way an egg is around the baby chip. And it has very many comets. So, in conclusion, there are eight planets, which are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Then we have five dwarf planets, which are Pluto, Eris, Haumea, Makinaki, and Ceres. Also, there are 181 moons, 566 asteroids, and 3,100 comets. Well, that is all we have for today, and my name is Deep Proxima. Thanks for watching.